हेलो बच्चो सत श्री अकाल एंड नमस्ते फ्रॉम माई साइड हाउ यू ऑल सो दिस इज योर ओन फिजिक्स एजुकेटर आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल इन टू द मोस्ट सेंसफुल प्लेटफॉर्म राइट फॉर एन एक्सपीरियंस दो आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर जे नीट एग्जामिनेशन स्पेशली राइट इन प्योर इंग्लिश मोड सो दिस इज इंद्रजीत सिंह अगेन हाई एवरी वन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर ऑन टू वेट अगेन बैक so this is a first physics video of the booster pack the booster pack for you all as you all know a very less amount of the time is remaining into the j examinations and ab also uh, neat is about to come but we are having very less amount of the time into the j so guys uh, i want to tell you all um, at the very last moment from physics right from the syllabus of level 11th and 12th the generalized topics that is having the highest probability to come up into an examination right and with that it is also having the highest probability to get mixed up with other concepts of the else chapters to create a critical question so there exists in the entire in the entire syllabus there exists a list of the topics right those who are quite uh, uh, important also from the weightage point of view and as what uh, the analysis we did okay uh, from the past papers and even they are they holds the highest right they holds the prominent position right into the top they are on the top of the list okay when they are mixed up with else concept to create a critical question those topics we are going to discuss into the very summarized form into the booster pack So yes, we are here. Booster pack. Conservation of energy. In J examination, generally physics uh, right appears like okay. The numericals into the physics right appears like this is a very firm statement that we used to say. Question in physics exams appears like this way. If Hunter. hits a bullet to a bear bear falls freely from the top identify the color of the bear data regarding to the motion of the bear is given okay and they are asking of the color students please don't mind this is a natural question of the gravitation right this is an actual question of a gravitation yes a hunter is at the bottom generally is to right for students the questions into the exam appears like this way right generally for students questions in exam appears always like this way right but this is actually a physics i'm going to answer this how hunter is standing nearby with his rifle shooting up a bear bear was at some elevated point and falls freely when any object or any particle or any system that falls freely right the acceleration under gravity is g is equal to 9.8 and value of g uh, is 9.8 is at poles not equator in poles we are having the polar bears and the color of the bear is white sa what the heck you are doing generally this thing appears in front of the students it happens but it is important to have a click falling freely g is equal to 9.8 the value of the g that is 9.8 it come upon the poles at poles it is a polar region in polar regions generally we are having the white colored bears so it appears like this this was a very firm statement right but actually it is a question of the physics and this thing right okay every maximum number of the students right has experienced this stuff so the first topic is conservation of energy and the work energy theorem why i selected this topic for the booster pack what is the importance of this topic right okay in work energy and power conservation of energy is going to used in application in rotational motion conservation of energy is used right 
in gravitation conservation of energy is used okay whenever any satellite is right uh, thrown or any object is thrown from or you can say whenever the satellite is projected with some velocity from with speeds uh, from uh, the earth surface to some else planet okay then we are solving all of those sums sums into the gravitation using conservation of energy in thermal physics we are using conservation of energy in shm and waves right we are using the conservation of energy this is the syllabus of the 11th in which we are using the conservation of energy concept okay after this in 12th syllabus in electrostatics in some of the topics we are using this right in capacitor energy stored inductors right we are using the energy concept okay in energy into the inductor is a different thing but energy is involved okay after this uh, in current electricity somewhere this energy is involved you can see the conservation of energy is itself holds the higher like it is in the top of the priority list okay that's why i've selected this topic right so uh, uh, we are going to discuss this thing into the very generalized form and we are going to see some of the sums based on it the awesome sums based on it and uh, the critical one from the je and neat point of view okay so this is why i have selected the topic as right it is important importance of this topic why many students might be having into the question into the mind na why you selected sir this is not fair by the way about the booster pack hope so it will help you it not hope so it will guarantee right uh, we are uh, uh, we are guaranteed that it will uh, help you a lot into the last match preparation for je and the neat examination so we will be waiting for all of your comments regarding this booster pack beneath the video okay as uh, you all are aware of okay so now let's move on to uh, the conservation of energy work energy theorem okay it is a very simple statement it states that work done by all forces that will change in kinetic energy of the object work done by all forces will change in kinetic energy of the object you can see into the visualization one visualization i kept let's take a very simple example to understand this okay let's take a very simple example this is object of mass m it is kept this is force f1 is kept this is a force f2 this is a force f3 right let's say this is a force f4 four types of forces are acting on the specific object right work is done by all of these forces some might be doing positive work some might be doing net work are some might be doing positive work some might be negative work some might be zero then on what basis this object is in motion right and the kinetic energy of this object is getting changed so in another form i want to say that the resultant of all forces right of whatever the forces that are involved into the work done will change the kinetic energy of the object in summarized form in some books it is also written that the net work done will change the kinetic energy of the object it is not important to understand this it is important to apply it right it is not important see it is important i can't say it is not important to understand yes it is important but how to apply it what is a question solving approach it is an like it it holds more right uh, it it is on the even on the top of the priority list so this is a very simple theorem this is a very simple statement right we need to focus on 20 to 25 minutes of this session right how to apply on it 
what is the question solving approach and basis on this question solving approach i am going to show you all how sums are solved see first of all let's move on to the very generalized approach of the conservation of energy work done by right now i'm not moving on to the positive signs or the negative signs i'm just saying work done by the all forces that is equivalent to change in kinetic energy of the object how many type of forces can do the work right so in this case conservative forces can do the work non conservative forces can do the work external uh, agents right okay external forces can do the work this all of three of them resultant will make the change into the kinetic energy of the object when work is done by conservative forces like mg kx right electrostatic force right this three kind of the forces are the conservative forces whenever the work is done by this kind of conservative forces it is always stored into the form of potential energy this thing we have discussed into the regular lectures also into the champion series also so work done by the non conservative force is equal to delta u right okay that is equivalent to okay delta u plus work done by i am rewriting this statement it's delta u plus work done by non conservative plus work done by the external agent that is is equal to delta k similarly work done by non conservative plus work done by external agents that is is equal to delta k plus delta u this is the generalized equation of the work energy theorem okay in all of those cases right in all of those cases right this equation can be applied all of those cases example of the conservative forces i gave you all change in kinetic and uh, sorry uh, example of the conservative forces mg kx uh, the weight the this uh, restoring force and the electrostatic force are the examples of the conservation are uh, this uh, conservative forces right now what are the steps to apply the conservation of right this is a generalized form we want to use right now suppose in any case if the work done any case suppose in any case let us take an example right in any case right work done by the non conservative forces is zero why because uh, no non conservative forces are present example of non conservative forces is uh, friction suppose friction is not present no dissipative forces are there right then work done by non conservative forces is zero and even work done by suppose external agent is also not there so it's work done by external agent is also zero so in that case the resultant delta k plus delta u is equal to zero when this statement is valid we always used to say mechanical energy is conserved so we are having only two equations of the work energy theorem only two and there are some steps whatever the steps i am writing down into the right upcoming time whatever the steps i am going to write it down okay all of those stem are applicable to all of the equations all of those applications into right a uh, basis on this work energy theorem all of those applications delta k see so there are only two questions the first one that is work done by non conservative plus work done by conserve uh, external agent is equal to delta k plus delta u this is the first equation and second equation when mechanical energy is conserved when mechanical energy is conserved in which delta k plus delta u you are going to get it as zero delta k the students in a chaos so where to use equate the first equation and where to use the second equation right 
so we are having a generalized three to four steps right to apply the work energy theorem and then they are applicable to maximum number of the cases so do you remember this formula yes or no it's a very simple thing let's see steps steps to apply work energy theorem the first step always check the presence of the non-conservative forces and external forces the first step whenever right the application of work energy theorem comes up in front what is the first step always check it out okay uh, whether this friction is present or not whether any kind of the resistive forces are present or not whether any kind of the external forces are present or not if yes they are present right friction is present external force is present everything is present then we have to follow the generalized approach work done by the non-conservative plus work done by the external that is equivalent to what work done by conservative work done by right external that will be equivalent to what that will be equivalent to what change in kinetic plus change in potential energy follow this equation follow this equation right using this step we are going to solve three to four sums okay today using this steps now the next one states third step suppose if work done by the non-conservative force is zero and external force is also absent an external force is also absent right then follow the second equation mechanical energy is conserved mechanical energy is conserved mechanical energy is conserved k initial u initial k final right u final you have to use this equation that's it these are the steps this is the resultant energy the total energy at initial point total energy at initial point in this case right the total energy is always constant and this is the total energy at final point compare it and get the answers we are going to use this step and solve the sums right yes we are going to use this okay. are you all ready so this is a very simple explanation of the work energy theorem moving aside on the countdown of 10 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 you can just pause this video and you can just note it down let's see this question ball a of mass m after sliding from m inclined plane strikes elastically another ball of mass m at rest find the minimum height so that ball b just completes the circular motion all surfaces are smooth kindly concentrate on this word all surfaces are smooth this is our step number one check whether external forces are present or not check non-conservative any kind of the friction or resistive force is present or not see path is smooth 
स्टेप नंबर वन वी चेक इट आउट पाथ इज स्मूथ नो फ्रिक्शन नो रेजिस्टिव फोर्सेस राइट एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस देर नो एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस देर इट मींस दैट व्हाट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इज कंजर्व इन दिस क्वेश्चन step 1 we check it out right no we do not have to use the general if mechanical energy is con conserved directly we are moving forward to the third step we have to use this equation the conservation of the mechanical energy the conservation of the mechanical energy for this we need to define the reference point because potential energy is always calculated with respect to the reference point so this is a reference point about which the potential energy we need to calculate this is a total energy at the initial position this is the total energy at the final position then select this will be the initial position right okay and this will be the final position when it collides right when it collides so can i say at initial position it is released from rest kinetic energy is zero it is having any kind of the potential energy yes it is having the gravitational potential energy because particle is released from height h mgh will be the potential this will be the total energy at initial position at final position a moment just before the collision it is on the reference line at the reference line gravitational potential energy is zero this thing we have discussed into the lectures so the final potential energy is zero and at this moment entire potential energy got converted into the kinetic so it is half mv square so before striking it is having before it strikes it is having the velocity under root of 2gh this is how conservation this is half of the sum we have solved but this is how the energy conservation is applied don't get worried we are going to use the first equation also right now they are see whatever the collisions right it is an elastic collision and they are identical masses so you all are aware of when the identical masses collides velocities get exchanged it means that this was before situation right this was at rest and this was having the velocity under root of 2gh after elastic collision the first will became at rest and second will have the velocity of under root of 2gh now it will move on to the vertical circle question states that now here comes the third concept see collision came conservation of energy came now comes the third concept motion into the vertical circle to complete the vertical circle of radius r minimum velocity needed is under root of 5 gr it means that at the bottom if particle is having the velocity under root of 2 gh if it is equivalent to under root of 5 gr then and then it can complete the vertical circle so it means that very simple thing under root of 2 gh is equal to under root of 5 gr if it is released from height phi r by 2 it is going to come down it is going to collide it is going to exchange its velocity and the new particle that will receive the entire amount of the velocity it will complete the vertical circle if it is released from the height phi r by 2 the steps we used and get up the answer second question awesomeness block of mass m initially at rest is drop from height h on the spring force of constant k maximum compression into the spring is x then step 1 check the presence of any right check the presence of the non conservative forces check the presence of the external forces 
any kind of friction is there no any kind of the external force is there no step 2 directly we are jumping on to this step 3 mechanical energy is conserved directly we have to use this equation k i u i k final u final now to use this equation obviously we are in need of the initial and final points this is the initial point from which the block is released it is going to release it is going to compress the spring and we are going to face the maximum compression right and block is going to come up here like this way right so this spring is into the state of max compression right x okay particle is beneath this reference line is x and this will be my final position this is the initial position this is a final position where is the reference line now students will all all students will do a mistake right generally you are having a habit to select the ground as the reference it is your choice but right smartness is to select this as the reference line Why this is a reference line? Length of the spring is not defined. We are having only value of H and X. About this potential energy MGH positive. Beyond this two types of potential energy. One is a gravitational potential energy of cube that is negative minus MGX. And that's because of this, work is done on spring half kx square that is elastic potential energy. So, if we are taking this as a reference line, we can easily define the total energies at the initial point and final point. The third step of our question solving approach. K initial, U initial, K final, U final. At initial point, particle is released. Kinetic energy is zero. With respect to the reference line, is it having some potential energy? Yes, it is having only one gravitational potential energy. That is MGH. Final point when it is compresses the spring, the maximum spring is facing the maximum compression. Spring is facing the maximum compression again for a fraction of the second block stops. Kinetic energy is zero. Finally, in this state, it is having two types of potential energy. The first one that is elastic potential energy half square x square plus the negative gravitational potential energy mgx final equation you are going to get as mgh plus x is equal to half kx square this is how conservation of energy is applied this is a perfect answer this is how conservation of energy is applied Sir, you have uh, shown us all of those sums in which, right, the energy conservation, the mechanical energy is conserved. How to use the first equation? Let's see this. In the situation shown, the adjacent figure, what is the maximum elongation produced into the spring? If initially spring is relaxed, considered all surfaces are smooth. Sir, According to the step one, all surfaces are smooth. Yes, mechanical energy is conserved. Wrong. Sir, how it is possible? You told us now it is right. How it is wrong? Guys, external force is there. I told you all when non-conservative forces and external forces both are absent, then mechanical energy is conserved. Right. Here external forces are there. They are doing the work. F is an external force. So in this case, we have to follow the generalized approach. 
वर्क डन बाय ऑल फोर्सेस इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी प्लस चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी राइट वर्क डन बाय यू हियर वी कैन से नॉन कंजर्वेटिव वर्क डन बाय एक्सटर्नल एजेंट दैट इज इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा के प्लस डेल्टा यू राइट दिस इज अ परफेक्ट इक्वेशन ओके हियर नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स इज जीरो बट हियर एक्सटर्नल एजेंट इज देर ना step 1 we are going to use this equation f is doing the work both forces are right elongating the spring it means uh, work is done equally by force both of the forces please don't get into the trap of directions both forces are into the opposite direction it doesn't means that spring is not getting elongated many students might be into the chaos what both forces are into the opposite direction one work positive one work negative sir cancel it out valle valle no it's not like that they both are elongating the spring na suppose one is trying to elongate and one is trying to compress okay then there is a possibility that spring may if spring may be in its natural length but here both of them are elongating the spring it means both of them are doing the work so work done by external agent okay now here initially kinetic energy is zero after maximum elongation kinetic energy is zero potential energy is half kx square work done by external agent okay so that will be equivalent to force into displacement plus force into displacement is equal to half kx square the maximum elongation it is going to come upon as x is equal to 2f by k the third is a perfect answer for this specific question this is how work energy theorem is applied and it is applicable to all for the gravitation as i listed in all of those chapters okay one last question right this is the homework from my side okay at the very last moment this question you need to write a uh, solid up i'm saying answer is this using work energy conservation only okay See here, all surfaces are smooth. Okay, I'm giving you all. All surfaces are smooth. Okay, the hint I gave you all. Boom. Okay. Whether this booster pack, right? If it is coming up for the syllabus of the eleven for the most prominent topics, that is having the highest possibility, right? For coming up into an examination. right and this analysis has been done from previous years and according to the experience of our entire team is it going to help you or not is this booster pack will boost or enhance your preparation in je neat preparations right it will enhance your je neat preparations or not i will be waiting for all of your comments beneath this video right okay guys again a new video will come upon with the awesome topic this is indrajit singh right signing off from the desk bye bye सत श्री अकाल एंड नमस्ते फ्रॉम माय साइड बच्चा जी बाय एवरीवन स्टे एट होम स्टे सेफ राइट आई मिस दिस पेंडेमिक बाय बच्चा जी